how to increase 5 alpha reductase activity and how to boost dihydrotestosterone DHT. Okay, so in this video, we go about basing on increasing 5 alpha reductase enzyme. Okay, so this mighty enzyme is necessary not only to get all the benefits from testosterone via DHT, but also it's important for our mood to be less stressed, less anxious for avoiding depression, okay? So mental health, okay? So guys, if you are blocking 5 alpha enzyme, you are castrating yourself, okay? The first thing, okay? You are replacing or you are trading your erection, sexual health and mental health for some, I don't know, specific benefits. Again, this is a meat, okay? So high DHT is a meat for a hair loss, okay? So uh, you definitely need this mighty enzyme. And in this video, I will tell you how to again restore and uh, improve 5 alpha reductase activity, okay? So we, are, we will talk about basics, okay? So uh, the first thing, IGF-1, okay? So you maybe already heard that, for example, DHT has this closed loop with 5-alpha reductase enzyme, okay? So uh, that, for example, maybe you will take Proviron, okay? So low-dose Proviron, if, if you need my help to know exactly how to fix it, you will find the link for my coaching, but... You can use things like Proviron, okay, and uh, Proviron does not need 5-alpha reductase to convert to DHT, and more DHT means more 5-alpha reductase activity. Even more 5-alpha reductase activity means more DHT. There is connection, okay, but, but no one will tell you this. I was talking about this several times in different video, okay. You need IGF-1, okay? So, if you have low level of IGF-1, okay, so then you have a problem. IGF-1 supports 5-alpha reductase activity to higher extent than DHT, okay? So, DHT, of course, will help because there is also correlation between DHT and 5-alpha reductase. So 5-alpha reductase increase DHT, DHT increase 5-alpha reductase activity. But you need IGF-1, okay? So if your IGF-1 is low, don't try to somehow uh, estimate uh, just thinking, okay, my IGF-1 is low, do proper tests, okay? You can even do proper tests for 5 alpha reductase enzyme. Like I said, if you need my help, you will find the link in the description, okay? IGF-1 is the first thing you need to fix in order to support 5 alpha reductase activity. Honestly, I also made one video where there was one positive effect of finasteride on hair loss and this one positive effect uh, is also responsible for the reason that not so many guys have side effects from finasteride, okay? And this one uh, uh, positive side effect is that in few guys, in few guys, not in every guys, okay? So it's a lottery, okay? Not everyone will get this benefit. So stay away from these things, okay? So it will increase IGF-1. And IGF-1 is also really important for hair loss, okay? And if you want to prevent hair loss, I also have protocol for this. Then you need to fix prolactin and not DHT, guys, okay? So, uh, IGF-1, the first thing, okay? The second thing is DHT, okay? So I already talked about how DHT and 5 alpha reductase is connected, but like I said, Without IGF-1, it will be a hard time to fix your 5-alpha reductase activity. 5-alpha reductase is an enzyme, okay? As any other enzyme in our body, we need proper levels of magnesium, okay? So, magnesium help with different enzymes that are helping with stereogenesis, okay? So, that are helping with 5-alpha reductase activity. Magnesium is crucial guys okay so take a look at your cortisol because if you take 
huge doses of magnesium it can really decrease cortisol okay but for example most most pfs guys they have high cortisol so it will help okay so uh so we been talking about uh igf1 dht magnesium okay inflammation okay so TN, uh, tnfa okay and uh, il6 il8 okay so if you inhibit inflammation okay in you if in if you inhibit tnfa il6 il8 okay so you will boost dht okay and this is via increased activity of five alpha reductase enzyme okay there are studies okay there are studies i don't recommend to take antibiotics regularly okay but there was one study with uh, doxycycline yeah it's doxycycline is used normally for sexual transferred diseases okay so but this uh, doxycycline can fix inflammation okay and uh, we are that mechanism at the end of the study they have seen huge boost in dht and it was because of the increased 5 alpha reductase activity okay so even methylation of 5 alpha reductase is happening via inflammation okay so this inflammation can come from obesity sleep apnea so generally fixing inflammation will also boost 5 alpha reductase enzyme and the last thing guess what okay so prolactin okay so prolactin if you have higher prolactin okay if you want to keep your hair okay if you want to have proper testosterone levels even if you are older okay so if you want to have really great erection the number one thing you need to do is to fix prolactin okay guys uh for me under 10 is acceptable okay so everything under seven is great okay so try to 15 and so it's it's not so good it's really bad for everything okay so for hair loss erections uh testosterone levels everything okay so the last thing is fix your prolactin if you need my help you will find the link in the description okay let me know if you like this video and give a like comment for algorithm bye guys